<laughs> that deal was crazy. I'm so glad I got there before these other guys. It is early on a Wednesday morning and we are here somewhere special today. If you're a person who loves a good thrift video, we're at the iconic Cary Tornado Flea Market in South Carolina. I've watched videos of this place for a couple of years. I can't believe the kind of deals that happen here. What would you do for the whole box? I'm 60 on all of them. How much are these? $5. All right, so it's everything here. Just add it up as we go. I do 80 for everything. 80 for everything? Yeah. So I'm here early. The lights are still low. This is like Disneyland to me. This is crazy. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so dark. <laughs> this isn't a ghost story. Uh, hopefully it gets a little lighter. Looks like the light's kind of dying out. I <laughs> know, it's a, it's a weak one. I got it at the thrift store yesterday. Because I... Uh, the batteries are in it too? Okay? Yeah. Oh, Any of the toys are three for a dollar. If you buy three, if not, they're 50 cents a piece. Oh, all right. How much is Evil Knievel? Uh, 40 bucks, man. That's about $100 on mine. $40. That one's... That's really cool. It's seal, still sealed in the box. That's 130 Oh, my That's gosh. That's a couple of hundred dollars. Man. This is my toy room entrance. Are you serious? This is a complete case full of red wine. At the next table I went to, there was a guy who pulled out some amazing stuff. I was the first one there, but there were a few other guys who fought me for some of the vintage clothes. Wait till you see the bangers that I beat them to. Okay. Put in the backpack. Five bucks, five bucks, okay. Look at those guitars. Let's see what that thing is. It's probably worth more than I'm asking for. If you sell stuff online, you probably, I mean, if you don't mind shipping something like that, I bet it's worth a hundred bucks or more. 1969. I'll bet, yeah. You gotta wait till Josh comes through, you know. Okay. I'm from Salt Lake City. I just, I can't take it back with me. <laughs> it won't fit, you know what I mean? Springsteen. How much are these? Three okay. There's some good ones in there. Ah, yeah, sticks, Springsteen. I just been collecting them up, picking them up here and there, you know. Fleetwood Mac. Oh, good. They don't. I, when yeah. I get them, I don't One check of them, them out. Make sure they don't have scratches on them. Enough. You give out great deals. Uh, I just want to get rid of them. All right, so clean that garage up. I don't blame you. I got a room full of stuff too. All right, here's what I got. Two, two of these. Six bucks. Thirteen. Five bucks. Five bucks for this. I said ten for that, right? And then, yep, ten, ten for the race. Give me twenty-five bucks. That's good enough. Twenty-five? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, let me see. If you got what, that. what cash I got? You get that much for that jacket? Oh, hundred <laughs> percent. That's great. I'm going to give you 30. Even 10 is a great deal for that. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. What do they call those? The satin? Yeah, the satin bomber jacket. I had, a, I had another one that um, said jackets on it, like uh, Georgia Tech, but I didn't wear it. I didn't think anybody up here would wear it. Oh, yeah. They're Rambling wreck. Okay, I appreciate those are it. Those nice shoes, I think, right there. They are the expensive shoes. Nike right shocks. <laughs> That deal was crazy. I'm so glad I got there before these other guys. I think I still have a lot more to look at, but I had to put these back in the car. The Nike Shock, Fleetwood Mac, Bruce Springsteen vinyls. Got this old Harley T. And then these guys, I didn't even look these up yet. This was wild. This Dale Earnhardt jacket. Unreal. And then this Raiders bomber. Oh my gosh. Snatched that up so quick. Wow. This rental car is absolutely hideous. <laughs> Driving in my Fiat. You really need to see it. All right, we're going back and it's like actually bright outside now. Well, that one booth alone just made it worth my time. A little pharmacy over here. Do this stuff. Do this stuff. It's good stuff. 
I flew out here to South Carolina on this flight pass that I got. Keep the change, bro. <laughs> In a previous video, I did a garage sale to earn $300 to buy this Frontier Go Wild pass that's basically six months of flights just for $300. And then for each flight that I purchased, I just have to pay the taxes for it. I'm all about the experience. This flea market has always been just smoking to me, so I was so excited to come. T-shirts, three. Okay, thank you. He still got a bunch more to bring out. Oh yeah. Rest of them, pile them up. Oh, aren't a few. All right, I'll take this guy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm okay. Thank you. What are you asking for the Polaroid? I don't know what five bucks are. Yeah, I'll do five bucks. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Got that Polaroid for five bucks and they usually go for around 30 or 35 if they work. So that's a decent pickup. How much are these guys? These are 200. Right? They're the real ones, huh? Oh, the real yeah. deal. Oh, yes. Dang. <laughs> okay. The, uh, the guy who met the, the rapper who has it, I don't really care for him too much. Uh, oh, Kanye? Yeah, Kanye. He's uh, he said some pretty bold things lately that uh, I don't agree with. Oh no, you're right. <laughs> How's it going? Oh man, Johnny Flynn autograph. This is in the $2 pile. I got a story about Johnny Flynn. I think it was about a year out of high school and me and my friend Matt decided to go to Las Vegas and watch the Summer League, the NBA Summer League. We're sitting in watching the games and Johnny Flynn comes and sits down right in front of us. I guess he had a game later in that day. He had his friend with him who was also just drafted in the NBA. We're like, oh, let's go get a picture with them since they're just like right there. I watched Johnny Flynn when he was playing in college. So I chose to get my picture with him and Matt decided to get a picture with his friend. some cold takes and that was the worst one how much is the xbox this one i'm selling that for 60 as it is i don't i don't have anything with it i don't know what it does or anything that one that got 75 on that set that wasn't good but uh, i'm selling that for 60 as it is yeah. okay <laughs> the lamb chop i don't see those very often uh, you got the moody blue cover but you ain't got the blue album yeah. I got the I got the Moody Blue album. It's a clear blue when you yeah. see through. I ran back into one of my vintage clothes competitors, and he got the better of me this round with the one hundred dollar Suzuki jacket. How much on this one? That one I can do it for. Well, I'd say twenty, but I'll do twenty on that. You're the one that bought the big red one for me, didn't you? Yes, yes. I finally got all that stuff done. You like Jordan? Yeah. Check this out. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. I've never seen that before. No, because that's it's custom made. I made it. Oh, really? Yeah, I make them. Oh, gee. The guys that buy from me all the time, they went through all this, so that's why I like this. Oh, they <laughs> well, they just, they tried to put it as neat as they could. Yeah. They were too busy trying to. What kind of stuff do they like? Do they get? Yeah. They always get all my fancy clothes. Yeah. I love a little healthy competition. I beat those guys to the jackets in the morning and they beat me to this stuff. It just shows that there's enough to go around for everyone. Came back. What do you want for the, the belt buckle? 
probably five dollars. I don't know if it's my belt buckle I sell for five dollars. What's it say in the back of there? It says something. Ninety-seven. Yeah, that's my last one of them. I don't collect NASCAR. So. These are Migos, though, so, and I'm asking ten dollars a piece for these. These are uh, these are 1974. Not buying these Migos was a missed opportunity, I think. A lot of them sell for around $30 a piece. He was only asking 10. This guy came all the way from Salt Lake City just to come over here for the city mall. <laughs> oh yeah? Crazy to most people. I'll do the buckle, yeah. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. I hope you have a good chat. How long are you staying? Appreciate it. I'm going back in just like an hour or two. I'll My try and- Mitch. Mitch Tyson. Tyson? Yes. Tyson, like, the, like Tyson. Like the boxer. No, that's unusual. Is that family like, like Tyson? It looked as if Tyson had hit his ear. That was definitely a bait. Well, no, probably not. The old Atari. Blue jerseys. Not too bad, how are you? Okay. Our lunch boxes, I can do both of these for 15. How much are these? You got good taste. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the Air Maxes. What are, are these? 97s? 97s, yeah. 97s, yeah. Yeah. All right, nice. Let me do a little research. I think I'll do these ones for sure. Not sure if we got it at that last booth, but I picked up two more pairs of shoes and this Top Gun. Game Boy game for 40 bucks. This is this was a quick trip and I do have a flight to catch, but I want to go over everything that I got today. I went up and down the aisles like three times. I just loved this flea market. It was so fun. Start off with the Fleetwood Mac Rumors album, one of the greatest albums ever. I'm the type of person where there's only a few albums where I can just listen all the way through and love it. This is one of them. Um, amazing condition. Then the Bruce Springsteen, uh, still with like the 7.99 sticker on it. Just an iconic, weird cover. <laughs> Got this pair of Nike shocks for five dollars. These bad boys are vintage. They look like they've barely been worn. Look at that. Great shape. The two things I'm most excited about, man. These jackets. This is a chalk line vintage Raiders jacket. I think this was ten bucks. A little wear on the corner of this thing, but man. You just don't find this in Salt Lake City. Woo! I'm hyped. Then he only wanted $5 for this. I gave him 10. I said, come on now. Come on now. At least 10 on this. Dale Earnhardt nutmeg jacket. The Intimidator on the back. The crazy checkered flag sleeve hits. Just have a little burn mark here on the arm, but that was awesome. We got this dead stock Mickey Mouse crew neck. A little like smoke. The reefer is strong in South Carolina. Got a Game Boy game, Top Gun. This Bill Elliott NASCAR belt buckle. Paid five bucks. I don't know what it's worth, but it's from my barber Blake. Blake and I got something in the works coming up. This pair of Nikes. New in box, Adidas. Comps were looking good. Got this vintage Harley T. Got a little back hit talking about Detroit. Then finally, got the Polaroid One Step Flash. I think this is gonna go for like 30 or 35 bucks. Some good finds at the flea market. That was absolutely worth it, especially for a Wednesday flea market. Where do you see that? I did a video at my flea market in Salt Lake City and it took me three weeks to find stuff as cool as I found in this one stop. If you wanna see that video, it's coming up next.